Tony Cruz is one of the best central midfield players in the world right now. So when I have players that are playing central midfielder that are looking for an example of a professional player to watch and improve and get better, oftentimes I'll recommend Tony Cruz because he has all of the great characteristics that I look for in a central midfield player. So in this video, we're gonna break down some of those characteristics, both on and off the field of what I think makes Tony Cruz such an amazing player. And hopefully there'll be some tips in here for you if you wanna improve in the middle of the park. The first thing to notice about Tony Cruz is that he is a master of finding space in the crowded midfield. He always knows how to put himself in a good position to offer supporting angles to his teammates and to receive good passes. Notice here, he's got defenders all around them and his vision, he's always checking over his shoulder. He always wants to see what's around him. He's got excellent awareness of where the opponents are and he's gonna run and position himself between the opponents so that he's offering a passing lane for his teammates. This is very, very important to always be putting yourself in a position to help. If you wanna help your team keep possession of the ball, it's not always about what you do when you have the ball at your feet. 90% of it is what you do when you don't have the ball. Running around, putting yourself in a position, working hard to get open and support your players. And that way when you do get the ball, you have more time and space so that you can do something positive with it when you get it. You also wanna constantly be aware of what's around you. And when you watch Tony Cruz, he's always looking over his shoulder. He's always aware of where the opponents are so that when he gets the ball, he's one step ahead and he knows where he's gonna go with it before the ball even comes to him. And this leads me to the second point that I wanna talk about with Tony Cruz is that he is an absolute pass master. This is one of those traits that he's absolutely known for. He delivers excellent passes, whether it's short passes, long balls, he has almost flawless technique. The ball just skims across the ground. It doesn't bounce up and down on the short passes and he can just deliver the long balls on a dime to his teammates. He's got excellent vision and awareness. He knows where his teammates are. And again, that goes back to just knowing what's around you and having that chemistry with your teammates. And when you watch this guy play, he rarely loses possession of the ball. He always wants to help his team keep it. And that's a very, very good quality to have of a center midfielder. When you're playing center midfield, you are kind of at the center of everything. You're at the heart of your team. So you wanna help your team keep the ball and always do something positive with it. We already made a video on the channel with some ideas on how to improve passing both short and long but some highlights of that video and some of my favorites are putting out some squares of cones and trying to deliver accurate passes in the cones you can do this with short passes to a teammate where they have to trap it within the cones or you can make it different distances here you can see working on a long pass and the goal of this exercise is to have your teammate trap the ball in the cone and if they're able to do that that means you're delivering accurate passes and then these skills can transfer to a game so that you're always delivering the balls to your teammates on a dime the next thing to notice about Tony Cruz is he really sets the tempo for his team. Playing in center midfield, you kind of are the pulse of your team, as I was mentioning, and he does an excellent job of knowing when to slow it down and when to speed up. You can see on a fast break situation, Tony Cruz is gonna put his head up and try to go as fast as possible to keep his team going in the right direction. But sometimes it's time to slow the game down, help your team keep possession of the ball, help get numbers forward. And he's very, very good at distinguishing when he needs to do what kind of tempo. Another thing you'll notice about Tony Cruz is he always likes to play forward when he has the opportunity to do so. If you've got pressure on your back in a game, sure, it makes sense to maybe just drop it off to a teammate and help your team keep possession of the ball. But when Tony Cruz has time to look up and turn at the opposition, he always wants to take advantage of that and play forward when he has the opportunity. There's no need to play backwards if you have time and space in front of you. So keep that in mind as you're judging the tempo and the pacing that you wanna play from that center midfield position. Knowing when to speed the game up and knowing when to slow the game down is a very, very good quality to have, and that'll come with experience and practice. Another thing that Tony Cruz is known for is having an absolutely deadly long shot. And one thing that you'll notice from Tony Cruz when you're watching him play is he likes to hang behind the play a lot of times as a support option. So as the team is moving forward, moving forward, they can always come back and play through him. And he's the distributor, that heart in midfield that can distribute the ball, keep possession for his team and send it in all different directions. But also when he's hanging behind the play, that opens opportunities to try to get a long attempt in on goal. And he does this extremely well because he has a deadly long shot. One of the things you'll notice about Tony Cruz's long shot is it's almost like he's passing the ball into the goal from long range. He's not ripping at it with power. He's really focused on accuracy and placing the ball in the lower corners so it's tough for the goalkeeper to get there. Here's an easy drill to work on your long range shooting. Simply have a player or a teammate dribbling down the side, passing it to you in the middle at the top of the box, and then just trying to finish while you're inside that triangle of cones. 
Last but not least, I didn't think this video would be complete without talking about some of the psychological aspects of what I think makes Tony Cruz a great player. And when you watch him in interviews and you read his quotes and you hear a little bit about his mindset behind the game, you really see that Tony Cruz is a very team oriented player. He realizes that the success of a team is much more important than the individual. And I think that's a very, very good mindset to have for any player, especially for center midfielders. And you can see this in the way he plays. He loves to pass one time he was asked the question would you rather be an excellent passer or an excellent shooter and he said well we already have a lot of excellent shooters at Real Madrid I want to be an excellent passer I want to put my teammates in a really good position to be successful and I think this is one reason why the teams that Tony Cruz plays for are so successful here in this clip you can see a good example of that team player mindset that I'm talking about the way you play is very selfless you, you like to give to other people right so how important do you think that is on the pitch to be generous to other players? If you have 11 players on the pitch that play for their self, it's impossible to win. The best example I think was last year. We did it all together. Yeah. Everybody did it for the team. Yeah. And that's the only way you can achieve. So with that being said, guys, those are five things that I think really sets Tony Cruz apart from many other players. And if you're trying to excel in the center midfield and be a team player, I think there's a lot to learn from Tony Cruz. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more analysis from other professional players or other tips for how to improve individually or as a team, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we have a ton more content coming out here on the channel that I am very, very, very excited for. Uh, so I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.